Yes. Yeah, we're doing <laughs> guerrilla <laughs> testing for, of um, with an XRF in Target of random kitchen goods. We're gonna do a few little videos here. Check back. I'll look on our blogs, creativegreenliving.com, tamarubin.com for other videos. Also, our web pages for um, my film, facebook.com forward slash misled movie, uh, misled America secret epidemic, and your Facebook page. That is Creative group. Green Living. Facebook.com slash Creative Green Living, but then there's a group too. The it's a, if you search for the Creative Green Living community group on Facebook. So we just we just found this uh, uh, set of Corel, which is funny. This isn't Corel. Somebody put somebody left oh, their stuff up there. <laughs> but um, this is what I this is what I have in my house, and I've tested and is lead free. But I just thought I would test some in front of you to show you that it is in fact lead free. Uh, we're doing kind of uh, short tests so that um, that that we don't take up too much time here. Um, and this is a, an X-ray fluorescence spectrometer that um, tells, it reads the first couple layers of whatever it's testing, depending on the density of what it's testing, and tells you if there's lead, cadmium, or mercury, or arsenic, any metals. And I'm an operator that's trained and certified in using the XRF, and I've tested it just, I don't know, thousands upon thousands of things. And usually, we wait for a pass um, or fail uh, thing, the top says, pass in green or fail in red. If it says inconclusive, it just usually <clears throat> means it needs a longer test. But if it does find lead, it finds it right away. You see that in the video we made with the green glasses earlier that were over 2,000 parts per million lead. So now it says pass because we did a long enough test. Um, so it doesn't mean it's, net, it's not positive if it says inconclusive. It just means it's um, not positive if it says pass. Um, so this tested negative for lead, cadmium, and mercury. As expected for the Let's look at the bottom. The uh, Made in the USA Winter Frost White New Corel, and we're here at Target. I'll just test a couple more pieces. I won't do the full 30-second um, test. Do you have anything to add about this, Carissa, dear? Um, no. Well, you know, I just uh, it's good to test these because uh, Tamara, our premier <laughs> lead expert, um, likes to recommend them. And they, the thing that's interesting, if you haven't seen these Corel dishes before, is that they're not made out of ceramic. They are a glass dish yeah. um and then you know do you think we can test these um ones up here with markings on them yeah yeah so this is also testing negative i wanted to um <clears throat> i think this happens <clears throat> this is like oh wow oh, that's, that's cool pretty. it's like new i haven't seen that before it's got a textured you know raised uh marking and um and without so it's pretty and different but it's still this glass um, I think it's called vitrified glass, and the nice thing is, you know, you can mostly chuck them across the room, and they won't break. Um, not that I've done that, but I know people who have done that in my family, um, <laughs> and um, and that's what's especially nice about them. Even though they're glass, you can chuck them across the room. So that's uh, negative for lead, cadmium, and mercury, Yay. and it just says inconclusive because it was a few tests. Now the only one that I can that's down on the shelf here. It's, so the scope for the XRF is a circle that's like a centimeter, and so this isn't going to be a good one to test. I can try and get the lines in the scope, but um, it's, it's sometimes hard. Um, and I have found uh, lead and cadmium in the decorations, and that's why I recommend the undecorated ones. Yeah, I don't know if I can get that down. I need to do a close-up of that one. We'll do a test of this one in a second. So this I think one, I can get it down if I'm this one on a short test is testing negative with okay. the black lines. Um, I'm gonna try and test this uh, up here, um, and I won't be able to see it. So we'll do like like 10 seconds or so. But the thing is, like the vintage Corel that has like the 1970s yellows and greens and flowers, those flowers I've tested have been like 18,000 parts per million cadmium, and they've had trace lead. And so don't go with vintage if you're, these are cheap enough. You know, a whole set for thirty four ninety nine. Oh, that that um, one has so much cadmium in it. Uh, well, it's it's uh, she's saying so much, but seven sixty eight plus or minus forty nine. Again, the vintage stuff lot. is like eighteen thousand. Oh, oh, so true. you know, but but the hazard level for cadmium in an item intended for children that's regulated is forty parts per million. So for this to be seven hundred sixty eight parts per million, yeah, that's a little scary. It's a lot more. Than 40, <clears> but I guess. these aren't considered. <laughs> Dishes aren't considered items intended for children, so that's the lesson for the day. Dishes, um, kids don't use dishes. Kids don't use they dishes, just, right? Like, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what they do. So, um, I still recommend these plain white Corel, both because they are durable. I think if I get some more, I'm gonna get these. These are Those super are cool. Pretty. I like these a lot. Okay, we've got to find out what's the name of this. Bella Faenza. 
that's the, the pattern number. <laughs> okay, um, thank you for joining us. Check out our blogs, creativegreenliving.com and tamarubin.com, and we'll see you again soon.